After months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost anything. <laughs> Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his half pollutant ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly, at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, Father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy, and wolves howling, and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you off drinking in the fields. I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You gone psychic, Paul? Either that or... I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking. Seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. What you reading? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. That should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is, there's this one guy, and he goes out in search of... Search of, search of. So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is... Absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. It's getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure, but he'll have to wait till morning just like any other man would in his shoes. Good night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. You OK? 
Okay, old man? You don't look so good. Get my gun. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Poor bastard, I... Well... You okay, darling? You okay? Oh. Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Uh... Jack! Get out here! Now! Oh, good Lord, what's happened? Mama! Careful, boy. Mama! Stay right there, the pair of them. Don't make me no widower now. your half-witted son. What's that old fool done to you? What the... What is going on here? into you sick crazy bastards or what else was done to you but I'm going to get help stay calm as calm as you can seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited probably just a fever Jack be kind to your mother Abigail teach the boy right from wrong both of you, stop biting chunks out of people be back as soon as I can <laughs> I best go find me a doctor in town. Not my day.
creepy. Wonder what went on. Professor, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. Well, I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research, <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? Well, well sir, I'm a man of science, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why well, ain't that dandy? Well, what, what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure. Or fight to the death trying. Well, well, that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. Uh, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. <laughs> I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. No, no, no. Perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my bag. Wait. You should stay with me, Professor. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. <laughs> I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. You remember him. Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but, but a good sort. <laughs> Okay. Well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. <sighs> Calm yourself. Shut up, or I'll really give you something to groan about. Anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? In here, mister. Come out. It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. Bad joke. I mean, come out. Become a family, mister. And mine, I fear. Sorry. We were so glad to see my mom. Cause she's been dead for three years from the smallpox. Your mama was dead? I saw her walk up onto the porch. 
and then boom! She ate my daddy! You weren't... You weren't a bad man, mister. You weren't. Sure, he liked to drink, but, but he weren't bad. And sure, he liked the company of women, but he weren't bad, mister, he weren't. No one deserves to have their blood drunk. I mean, he knew how to use his fist. And if, if a woman spoke out her place, he reminded her of it and everything. And when my mama was dying, people said that he was lying with her sister. But that weren't true, mister, it weren't. But you said your mother was dead. Yeah, her and Mr. Braithwaite. He's been dead a year. And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. And he loves animals. All the dead folk have come back to life, mister. Only they ain't happy. It's a funny kind of salvation. All the dead folk? All the folk buried at the cemetery over by the churchyard. My God. I'm gonna go have a look. You wanna come? I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Here, mister. Take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. Hey, mister! If you see my uncle Mordecai, burn him. Burn him real good, you hear?
That about sums up my luck recently. You won't be needing that.
all yours. This was a waste of time.